Hey folks, it's Antar, and I've got a new friend battle for you. Today I'm battling the Cerebi Forms Dark Shard 1202. Uh, we agreed on OU singles, uh, and I am intrigued by his team. Uh, I see Dusk Noir in what looks like a lead position. I'm like, that can't be a Trick Room team, can it? But I think that's just colored by my uh, Isabella team. Dusk Noir has other uses besides Trick Room. Um, anyway, uh, we settle on Magma Coliseum and begin the battle. Um, I think this is the first time you've seen Sam with his new glasses. Uh, I think it looks nicer, whatever. Anyway, he starts off with Blissey, and so um, Blissey can do a lot of support moves, and so I figure Taunt is a really great way to start the match. Um, <clears throat> and so that'll disable any recovery moves, anything like that. And Blissey goes for a charge beam, uh, presumably uh, expecting the Taunt. Uh, doesn't do too much damage, but after a few of those um, moves, it, uh, it could kind of do a lot, so uh, I decide to U-turn out of there. He decides that since I've disabled him with Taunt, he's going to pull out as well, and sends out Dusk Noir. So my U-turn is not going to be very effective at all, um, but this has the advantage of now I can choose who to send in to counter Dusk Noir. Um, and I settle on uh, Mick, my shiny Umbreon. Um, I've said on the Smogon forums that I don't choose uh, shiny Pokemon unless there's a good aesthetic reason. And this kind of seems like a flimsy reason, um, you know, blue spots instead of yellow, but I don't know. I just think that Umbreon with yellow spots doesn't look quite right. Um, anyway, so Dust Noir uses Confuse Ray, um, pretty good move in my opinion. Um, and that I have a Lumberry, and so I get cured of that, uh, which is nice. Um, Dust Noir uses Will-O-Wisp, and um, that's okay for me because uh, not only is Umbreon running Heal Bell, but it's got Synchronize, which all Umbreons do. I thought that was a little bit of a strange move on his part, but I guess he's not doing too much attacking with this Dusk Noir. Um, so I use Curse, uh, and in, uh, while he's using, uh, while he's burning me, um, and I think, is that my second curse? No, I think that's my first curse. Anyway, uh, he uses Confuse Ray again. Um, that's okay. Um, I'm expecting that Heal Bell is going to recover, uh, get rid of that too. Um, I had to look this up later. Heal Bell does not cure you of confusion or, you know, infatuation or anything like that. Um, which is too bad, really. But, oh well. Um, I'm no longer burned, and he's suffering uh, from burn. Um, so I go ahead and use Payback. Uh, Dust Noir uses Pain Split, one of its more effective moves in my opinion, um, which does a considerable amount of damage to me and uh, recovers him quite a bit. Um, but Mick gets off the payback. Um, the confusion didn't, I got really lucky with the confusion. The crit I don't think was needed since that was a plus two um, attack uh, and it was super effective. So Dust Noir goes down um, and. He sends out uh, Weavile, so I'm expecting the fake out, so free switch for me, um, practically. And I send out Jirachi. Um, I love that Jirachi, as, as I've said before, it's so cute. Um, sorry about the skipping there. Uh, my capture card is completely lovely. Uh, anyway, uh, Weavile uses fake out just as I was expecting. Um, and Jirachi's like, whatever, that didn't hurt. Um, yeah, oh, and it's got Life Orb, which is nice to know. Uh, so I use Fire Punch. I really should have used uh, Iron Head. Um, that was a poor move on my part. Uh, a poor move that I will, by the way, repeat later on in this match. Um, but oh well. And he sends out Blissey, predicting the Fire Punch, I guess. Uh, and so Fire Punch really doesn't do too much damage. Um, I'm hoping that it at least gets the burn or something, but no such luck. Um, and yeah, so I pull out Jirachi. Uh, for Tux, my um, Empoleon, uh, I decided that now is as good time, a good a time as ever to set up Stealth Rock. Um, Blissey also decides to, that it's a good time to set up Stealth Rock. Um, but anyway, here I go, Stealth Rock. Um, yeah, Blissey is probably the most hated Pokemon that's not banned um, from uh, OU play. Um, takes on the moniker of um, pink, bad word. Um, anyway, so now that I've got Stealth Rock up, I decide what I want to do. I decide I'll try a Hydro Pump, 
but of course Blissey is a special wall and Hydro Pump does next to nothing. Um, so not a good choice. Uh, Blissey uses Charge Beam, um, and which is going to be super effective against Tux, um, and even though Tux is bulky, um, after a few boosts, that's not going to be good for me. So I go ahead and switch out to um, Pumpaloo, my Manila Swine, who's going to take the Stealth Rock damage, but isn't really going to mind it, um, and is going to hopefully take uh, a uh, Charge Beam that's not going to do anything, uh, thanks to its ground typing, and I predicted that well. Um, Let's see, does a little bit of healing, and I go ahead and take it out with Superpower. Um, I should run the damage calculations. I'm not sure that Superpower is guaranteed a one-hit KO, even with my, even with a super effective hit and with uh, the choice band. Um, I just, I wanted that Blissey down, and I'm not sure if there was another way. Um, but I'm glad that Superpower did the job. Um, anyway, he sends out Weavile, and I consider doing Super Power here, which is going to be, you know, super effective as well. Uh, in fact, it's going to be 4x effective. Um, so even though I'm at, uh, you know, even though uh, Choice Band has been canceled out by uh, Super Power going once, um, you know, whatever. I actually decide to switch into Jirachi um, because uh, I figure he's going to fake out anyway, and he's faster, and he could potentially do some damage. Um, so, as I suspected, a fake out, um, and essentially a free switch for me, and Jirachi uses Fire Punch, really, really should have used Iron Head, which would have been, which would have dealt more damage, um, and then I wouldn't have had to switch out, um, had he sent out someone who, uh, doesn't mind fire attack. So anyway, Jirachi goes, not Jirachi, uh, Jirachi takes out Weavile, um, and so far I'm doing pretty well in this match. Um, but then again, you know, I always start off my watches pretty well, it seems. Anyway, he sends out Snorlax. He's got a lot of big, bulky guys on his team. I'm kind of impressed. Um, so Jirachi uses Fire Punch. I'm hoping to get in a burn, um, because I'm figuring that Snorlax is going to uh, self-destruct. <laughs> I don't know why I'm figuring that. That's kind of stupid, considering that very few Snorlaxes can actually self-destruct. Um, Snorlax recovers some... Uh, some HP with leftovers, and I pull out Jirachi for uh, Fumpa Loop again. Just going to do another um, super power, and hopefully it'll take it out. Uh, yeah, so uh, Fumpa Loop is racking up a little bit of stealth rock damage. Uh, Snorlax uses Curse, um, which uh, is going to make him bulkier, and it makes me worried that super power is not going to be enough. Um, but I go ahead and use it anyway. Fupa Loop charges on with superpower. So cute. I love how Mana Swine runs. Um, more like Trundles. Anyway, uh, it does get the KO, which is nice. And Snorlax is down in one hit. Uh, and he sends out uh, Salamence. So obviously, I'm going to be pulling back. Um, uh, obviously, I'm going to be pulling back Fupa Loop. Uh, because Superpower is not going to do anything against him. And I send out Jirachi again to use uh, uh, Ice Punch, which will be 4x effective. And hopefully with the Stealth Rock damage, that'll be enough to take him out. Um, Jirachi's adamant anyway, so again, should run the damage calculation, but I think he would have uh, done well. So it uh, turns out to be a good choice, because Jirachi's going to resist the Stone Edge, um, while Mammoth Swine would have taken it neutrally. Uh, Ice Punch goes... And there we go. One hit KOs uh, Salamence. Uh, again, um, I guess it'll be up in the annotations whether that would have always been a one hit KO or not. Um, but anyway, he sends out Crobat, uh, his last Pokemon, and this battle's over. Uh, another Ice Punch, and I've won it. Um, so this was a really nice little battle, uh, a nice uh, 6 0 sweep for me. Um, Dark Shard 1202, if you're watching, really good game. Um, you know, you didn't have a bad team, I just had I just had a bunch of really great counters for yours. Um, anyway, other people, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. Um, I'll have some new matches for you soon. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. So long.